everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another color mixing video focusing on the color blue, so let's jump right in. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I am using my Etcher Lab Cold Press Sketchbook. I am using Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors in my palette. Again, the colors are Dioxazine Purple, Permanent Rose, turquoise, ultramarine, hooker's green dark, sap green, cadmium yellow, and cadmium red deep. And then I also have my Princeton snap brush, but use whatever brush you have. And let's start mixing. Okay, so we are focusing on the color blue today. And blue might seem straightforward, but there are tons of different shades of blue. And if you look at a paint store, or you go and try and buy tubes of blue, there's tons. And you're just like, which ones do I buy? You know what? I'm gonna suggest two because that's all you really need. If you really want one, you could just get one. Um, but two that I really love and that are in this palette are turquoise and ultramarine. So I have a cool blue and a warm blue and I'll just explain quickly. So turquoise is a cool blue, okay? Because if you look at your color wheel, let me actually just put them both down to show you the difference because they are pretty different. Okay, and to determine whether a color is cool or warm, grab your trusty little color wheel here. Here's our blue color. And you're gonna wanna try and see, does the color lean more towards green or purple or red actually? So looking at turquoise, it definitely has a bit more green than it does purple in it. So that would make it a cool blue, okay? <laughs> Um, which is great for mixing greens. You get really, really vibrant greens. Our ultramarine here clearly is a bit more dark and it leans a bit more towards the purple side, which is a bit more red. So it's a warmer blue, which is great for mixing purple. So if you wanna mix a really good purple, which we did on the first episode of the series, ultramarine is the way to go. You want a nice warm blue. It's a lot harder to mix a nice purple with a cool blue because it has that yellow in it and a yellow and purple are contrasting colors it will create some sort of shade of brown okay so you want a blue that has this like reddish undertone to it so if you're unsure ultramarine is a great one for mixing purples and turquoise is great for mixing um, greens okay so we have our two blues in our palette and we're going to start mixing them with other colors so we can get a bunch of shades of blue so one of the things I get asked a lot is how to make a color darker. Um, and a lot of people think it's using black. Now, using black is not always the case, okay? Cause you're gonna kind of wash out that color of blue. So in this case, I would think, let's look at our palette and immediately we see that purple is a dark color. So that's gonna darken up our blue. So let's try and do that. So I'm gonna take our darker blue to start with, which is our ultramarine. And then I'm gonna take some of this dioxazine purple and immediately we already have a bit of a darker blue. Now, what if you want kind of like an indigo color? So in order to get it darker, you're gonna to wanna to add kind of its contrasting-ish color. I'm gonna add a bit of red, okay? Let's see what that does to it. Actually, yes, contrasting color, sorry. Blue's contrasting color is orange. I don't know where my brain is today, is orange. So that will create a bit of a shade of brown, but it will also darken it up. So we don't have orange here, so you wanna add red, which is where I was going with that, and then a little bit of yellow. And that will kind of tone down the vibrancy of the blue, making it a little bit more dusty and making it darker. Okay, like that. So you can get a nice indigo. Just start mixing different levels of that color. Again, mixing a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. There we go, it's even darker now. And it's dustier, so it kind of looks like an indigo-ish kind of color. And it had a little bit of purple in there too. Okay, so there's some really nice dark blues. Sorry if that was unclear. <laughs> My brain is all over the place today. Okay. So let's try and mix maybe some ultramarine with pink. And we know if we want a really nice vibrant pink, we 
sorry, if we want a really nice vibrant purple, we can mix pink with it instead of red. You'll get a really nice purple. But let's use just a little bit of pink to get a nice bluish shade. So that's the original ultramarine. I'll put it right close to it. And again, it darkens it a little bit and makes it a bit more on the purpley blue side, which is also a really nice tone. Okay, let's try and do that with some turquoise. Got a little bit of pink there. Again, it darkens it up, and totally changes the shade. Now let's try and get some dusty kind of muted colors. So we kind of did that here and made it really, really dark by adding the purple and then ultimately orange with yellow and red. But let's just try and do a bit of yellow and red. So I'm gonna mix an orange here. Okay, and we'll mix both blues and see how that turns out. So we'll get our ultramarine and you get this nice muted kind of blue and you can always make it a bit more muted. Again, it darkens it up. Let's try with our turquoise. Now, because there is yellow in the orange, you're gonna get a little bit of that green into it, right? Because to make orange, you need yellow and red. And to mix green, you need blue and yellow. So if you have a bit more of that yellow in there, you're gonna get a bit of a shade of green with it too. So it doesn't really mute the turquoise. It kind of turns it into this like sea green-ish blue color, which is also really nice. Okay, so let's try and mix it with some other colors like green. So I'm gonna grab some ultramarine here and I'm gonna mix it with some sap green. Because ultramarine is darker, you're gonna get a nice deeper kind of turquoisey green. Let's see. That's pretty too. Okay. And again, if you use different levels, more green, you're gonna get a more greeny blue. If you get add more blue, you're gonna get more of a bluey green. Let's try and mix turquoise with the green now. Remember, turquoise is brighter, so you're gonna get a brighter turquoisey color, which is beautiful. And again, you can always lighten up a color just by adding a bit more water. Okay, so we have tons and tons of colors to choose from. I think we should just jump in and do a little blue floral composition with some of these and let's do it. I think we're gonna go more towards the purpley blues and the darker blues. So let's, let's just jump right in and do that. So I'm gonna grab this ultramarine and permanent rose mix. <clears throat> and I think we're gonna do some sort of maybe like delphinium kind of thing. So I'm just gonna do some rough petals going around and leaving a little bit of white space in the center. Maybe we'll do, you know, lighten it up a bit, do a side view. Like that. You can always deepen it. Let's grab some of this dark blue here that we made you can tap the centers using a lot of water. Maybe ones that haven't bloomed yet. Grab a bit more of a different color blue. Really just messily kind of doing this. Tap it a bit darker like that. Just switching it up. And grabbing some of that dark blue. Grab some behind here. I'm 
Okay, so it looks like a total mess, right? <laughs> Let's start adding some stems to kind of make it look more like a stocky flower. So we can use any of our greens. I'm gonna, um, or our green bluey mixture. I'm gonna add just a bit more sap green to this one, a bit more ultramarine. And I'm just going to tap the base of some of those flowers to get some of those bleeds. Like that. Like that. Okay, we get some pretty delphinium type flowers like that you can add a bit more darkness towards the stem if you want like so I might grab a little bit of yellow and just tap it in the center of some of these like that and there you go, there's like a loose blue delphinium. Um, and yeah, so there's how you mix a bunch of different blues. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day. Bye.